So I'm gonna make a secondary system. I have one for my home, and I have one I can simply break down and put it in the back of my car, of my SUV, and no matter where I go, I always have access to water. Now, I have this tape measure here. Do yourself a favor. You see this handle, how it swings forward and swings back? Take it backwards, but take it away from the actual front part. At least this is what I call the front part. So what I wanna do is I wanna go up two inches, two inches only. And the reason I wanna do that because I wanna place my spigot. So you can probably understand that we're working on the bottom bucket right now. Okay, the bottom half of the system. So I wanna place my spigot here. And if I place it in the lower, it's going to bump um, and interfere with me filling up water depending on where the setting is, if it's on a counter. So let's get started. First of all, I wanna take my spigot out of here and I'm gonna do this one in white. I'm gonna need a spigot. I'm gonna need this nut. I'm gonna need two plastic washers. In fact, I'm gonna change out that nut. I'm gonna use this washer here. Everything needs to match. Let me close this up. Let me know if I'm going too fast for you folks. Now, once again, in order to get this perfect, I wanna use a marker. Let me grab the materials and I'll be right back. So I'm gonna find a center here. And again, it really doesn't matter, but I like things to be neat. I'm gonna take my measuring tape here and from two inches, I'm gonna put it at the two and mark upwards. You can see I'm dead center right here. I've already taken my marker and I went ahead and marked the area. Now what I wanna do is take my drill, open it up. We're gonna place the 5 8 not the 3 8 but the 5 8 in here. We're gonna close it. And then we're simply going to Get on top of the mark here. Make sure that little point is right there, like so. And we're simply going to drill, okay? That's something you don't want to do. This is why. You see what happens? So make sure you have a steady hand and put it on the mark. Hold it, embrace it, and go slowly. That's a perfect hole. Ain't much I have to do to it in, um, in relation to ship to cleaning it up. I just simply, and that's clean. So what I wanna do here right away, I wanna go ahead and take my spigot and I wanna get it in here. You may need a little bit of muscle. It shouldn't take you much. And the reason why you wanna twist it in here. And be careful, you'll want to break this lever here. All righty, everything's looking good. Just get it in there. Bingo, okay? Now, now that I have this spigot on here, so as you can see here, we have a perfect hole. So let me move the drill to the side. And before we start putting a spigot in here, we wanna make sure we take one of the plastic washers. Now, you can see on the plastic washer, you have a protruding side and you have a flat side. The flat side is the side that you want to go on your spigot and against this ring here. See how it flushes up? If you did it the opposing way, it would literally protrude away causing a leak to happen. Now we can go ahead and put this in. Normally you have to screw in there, but I think I can. There we go. I got it in there pretty good. And there it is. Now we need to go to the inside. And what we're gonna do to the inside, we're gonna do the same. The flat 
part of the washer goes on first. And then we're gonna take the lock nut here and we're gonna put that on. Remember the lock nut also has a um, rounded smooth side and a flat side that has a total of six holes on it. It's the, t it's the side that has six holes on it. You wanna make sure you start screwing on first and you're going to screw clockwise. Now, Here's the tricky part. You don't want to, you can use a pair of pliers, but I tend not to. So what I do is I twist simultaneously one direction uh, clockwise with the nut and counterclockwise with the spigot. Once I get a certain, there we go. There we go. There we go. Perfect, 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 perfect. Your bottom half is done. We're now going to put this down on the floor here and we're going to grab the top bucket. Once again, I'm gonna flip this handle over. This is gonna be my front side. And what we need to do here is flip the entire bucket over like so. Okay, and now we're going to take a top and place it on top of this bucket. Be right back. So this top, or you could call it a lid, you have your bottom and you have your top. What you're going to do is simply take your top and you're gonna flip it over and place it on the bottom. Okay, doesn't matter um, what type of configuration it is, it's just the lid and you'll see what happens later. Now, I'm gonna flip this towards you. What you want to do is go two inches out from the center of this circle or two inches out from the edge here. So let me show you what that looks like. I'm going to take my marker and I'm going to have a closer, a close up of this shot. So as you can see this circle here, we're going to Put this right in the middle and you see the number two. That's what we want to mark. If you want to go from the outside, you don't want to go from here. You want to go from here. From here. Okay. And you want to go. Here's your number two. I prefer to go from here out. And so this will be my number two right here. So let's go ahead and mark these. Actually, I'm going to go out to number three, right there. Okay. I'm going to go to the opposing side. I'm going to also do number three. Now we got to drill the holes here, and I'll show you the setup. So again, I'm going to take my container, and I'm going to put it there. And I'm going to put these in such a way where these dots are right and left of each other. Now then I'm going to take this 5 8 drill bit off. I'm going to put the 3 8 drill bit on. Okay, we're ready. Now, what I'm going to do is go right on top where the marking is. I'm going to drill my hole. Again, applying light pressure. That's one hole. Keep your hand firmly in the middle so that the top doesn't move. Very important to do that. All right. I have my top done. I'm gonna take my bore here. Don't do it hard. You don't wanna open up the holes any larger than what they are. 
That's done. I'm gonna let you see there's some plastic flakes there and let me clean these up a little bit. Those holes are done. Can you see those holes? So they're done. Now, what we're going to do is we're gonna place these back on here, this lid, and we're gonna line them up just like so. Now, here's what I like to do. The first thing I like to do is take my filters out. And I like to do one at a time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it this way now. You see what I just did? I'm gonna take this filter here and I'm gonna put it inside of this hole. But before I do that, there's something I need to do. I need to take one of these rubber washers and put it right there. Let's flip it back over. We're gonna put it through here. You see how it snapped in? We're gonna take the secondary filter and we're gonna take the next rubber washer and do the same. And as you can see here, you can see the threaded bottom part protruding out the bottom here. Now, what we gotta do now is we've gotta take these washers, these bolts, wing nuts I call them, and we're gonna go ahead and tighten this down. Use one hand to twist it the opposing way, so your right hand, if your left hand, whatever, clockwise, and this one here is counterclock. It tightens the process. Don't over tighten them. That's done. If you find yourself getting a little leak, then tighten them a little bit more. Other than that, you should be good. Voila, done. Filters, done. Now, I'm gonna share with you how to actually prime or purge these filters because you need to do that before you can use it. Otherwise, you're gonna be taking in some nasty charcoal. You don't want that in your system, although there are some studies that show activated charcoal is real good. You may wanna check out the video in the link below. I got a wonderful video for you. Otherwise, this is what your system's going to look like. Here's your spigot. Here's your filter top system. And then you can go ahead and push this down to lock that lid in. But here's an issue that most people have. These particular lids here are very difficult to get off. They're great here, but when it comes to the top bucket, you don't wanna put them there. You're gonna find yourself having to use this tool just to pry off the top bucket every time you have to fill the container. Here's what I do. I like to go ahead and use the gamma lid. The gamma lid comes in two pieces. You put the first piece on and you snap it in, as you can see here. And then you can go ahead and twist the gamma lid on. So when you wanna put water, look how easy it is. Twist it off, put your water, put the gamma lid back on. Pretty simple, right? Let's get to the priming part.